Hey guys, alone here. So I hit diamond on my bronze to masters account and in this video I want to talk about what I feel are the differences between a diamond and a platinum player. Keep in mind that there are still diamond players that do the same thing as platinum players and just got lucky by going on a win streak or playing with friends who are better than they are. But in general I feel like when I play in platinum ranks the issues I'm about to talk about is way more common than in diamond. So the first problem is alt economy. Now this is an issue that's prevalent through almost all the tiers except maybe Grandmaster and Top 500. The fact that people just throw away way too many ultimates at once. Now in Platinum it's that, but at the same time it's also that people just don't use their ultimates enough at all. I've had so many games where there's an Ana in my team just holding Nano the entire game because she doesn't feel like there's a good time to use it. And also I've had Lucio's not using his ultimate when the enemy soldier is using his his ultimate resulting in players dying because he's not using his Lucio ult and then after two people in my team has already died that's when he uses it when it's already a lost fight and then it's just wasted. So my best advice for players in platinum feeling like they struggle with when to use their ultimates then listen to this. As soon as you're about to get your ultimate or you have it then determine in your head before the fight what you're going to use it for. If you're a Genji, you might think, I'm going to use my blade to kill both the healers and that's it. After that, I'm just going to peace out. Or if you're a healer, you might think, oh, the enemy has a Genji, so I'm going to use my ultimate when the Genji blades. Always try to think ahead of the fight. It makes for way less bad ultimates and it gives you a better reaction time to it as well because you will be ready for the queue. So for trickling in, I see this all the time, but I don't want to talk about it too much. It's basically when you know that a fight is lost, just wait and group up and then go in, not go in one versus six all the time and just die in a pile. It's common knowledge uh, at this point, but obviously not everyone watches YouTube. And so if this is like the first time you watch a YouTube video on Overwatch because it's been said so many times, don't trickle in. Just group up after a lost team fight and then go in. So when it comes to positioning for all different heroes, all heroes in the game have different jobs and positions to take. So if you're a healer, you might want to stay a bit in the back, but not too far back as that would make you way easier for flankers to kill you. Just stand just behind your team so you don't take poke damage in the chokes, but close enough in range that you can get help if you get flanked. Now if you're the flanker, there's a bunch of different routes you can take to surprise the enemy team with your position. For example on Icon Vault, which is an amazing example, fire players in Platinum overall just stood high up in the choke or flow over the right side on the first point if you're the defending team, so over the big house that uh, has a broken roof, and they just try to flank from there. Which is not a great way to flank because it's a very obvious way of flanking and people will see that and they will just shoot you meanwhile you're going over the house. The more experienced Pharahs that I encounter all the time in Diamond, they flank all the way around on the left side from the defending side and shoot from behind which is way more unpredictable. And attacking from behind is always so good because that's where the healers will be and if you pick off the healers you have a really good chance of winning the team fights. My last point is team composition and for sure there are diamond players who also are bad at understanding this but I think that in diamond people overall know this but they just don't accept it sometimes because they just get frustrated with players and I do understand that. I think that there are way more players though in Platinum that think that the 2-2-2 setup, meaning 2 tanks, 2 supports and 2 DPSers, is the only meta comp in the game that will win consistently, and that is absolutely not true. The most optimized team in my opinion is when you have everyone playing at their mains, as long as you can have at least one tank and one support, and that tank is a good solo tank, and the support is a good solo support. Winston and D.Va are most likely the best solo tanks in my opinion and Mercy and Ana are the best solo supports. If you can get at least those at minimum then run 4 DPSers with that and all the DPSers are comfortable with their heroes, I would give that team a pretty good chance of winning, at least in Platinum and even Diamond and Masters to be honest. Competitive is not about having the 100% meta comp, it's about having players on their best heroes as much as possible. Of course it would be hard to win without any healers or tanks, but don't push players to change to another healer if they have no clue how to heal. Be the person yourself to pick that healer if you really need it, because keep in mind you can always solo heal, and if you have no tank you can always solo tank, it is possible. But if for example you pick the tank and then you have 5 DPSers and really no one wants to support, then just pick a support and try to support the 5 DPSers because there's no point of playing a tank without healers and also at the same time 
don't rage at your teammates for not wanting to pick it. It's not going to help and if they just mute you or anything like that or just 100% refuses to swap, don't go toxic on them. Just let them play whatever they want to play and then just try to win because hating on your teammates will not help you win. And overall just winning as many games as possible by not throwing games yourself by going mad is the way to climb. But yeah, that's going to be it for this video. My account is currently at 3200 SR, I think, so about halfway to Masters. And I hopefully can hit that fairly soon so I can make a video about that. And until then, I thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next one, guys. Take care. And if you did like it, please leave a like. If you want to subscribe, then please subscribe. Goodbye.